you can see two stones over here well, this is a very big stone and this is comparatively smaller now which of these will be easier to move well, obviously the smaller one not the bigger one but why is it so why can you move the smaller one easily and not this big one well everything around us is made up of some kind of stuff well you can say that this big stone is also made of some kind of stuff now that stuff here is more and the stuff from which this is made is less here so i can say that the amount of stuff from which this is made is more that is why to move this wheel require a lot of effort whereas amount of stuff in this stone is less that is why i'll require a lesser amount of effort to push this stone comparatively now this stuff can be replaced by a word called matter now we say that everything around us is made up of something that is called matter now to represent the quantity of matter like how much stuff is present in anything so we say that the amount of matter can be represented with the word mass so this mass actually represents how much matter is there inside a object so what is mass well mass is the quantity of matter in an object matter that is stuff in an object now or you can say how much matter an object contains now what is mass mass is the thing with that tells us how much matter an object contains now here we can replace the word stuff with mass so you can say that this big stone has more mass and the small stone has comparatively less mass that is why we require a lot of effort to push this stone as compared to the smaller stone now can you tell me which of the following has mass water air or this bucket well we know that everything around us is made up of matter that is some kind of stuff so among these which of these things is made up of some kind of stuff or matter well you will say that the bucket bucket has some certain mass why because the things we can see touch or smell in our daily lives everything has mass now everything around us has mass that is matter now this bucket has certain amount of mass you agree this is made up of some kind of stuff so that stuff is matter and that matter can be represented with the quantity called mass now we have told you that the things we can see touch or smell in our daily lives everything has mass so why not air well think about it air is made up of gas particles and water molecules you agree with that so the air we breathe also contains some mass because the stuff that air contains is the gas particles and water molecules so it has some kind of stuff some kind of matter that is why we can say that the air we breathe also has some mass now what about water well the same thing goes for water water is made up of water molecules so it is made up of some kind of stuff some kind of matter so we can say that water also has certain amount of mass so what did we learn the things we can see touch or smell in our daily lives everything has this mass now what are the units of mass how can we measure mass well the si unit that is the international system of unit of mass is kilogram this is denoted by kg so kg denotes kilogram don't you go to the market to buy 1 kil kilogram of uh, rice or 1 kilogram of sugar well that kilogram is only what we are talking about that is a unit of mass when there are various units of mass the si unit of mass is kilogram while the other multiples and sub multiples of kilogram are also used as units of mass well the sub multiples are milligram and gram 
represented by mg and g respectively and the multiples are quintal and ton represented by q and t so these are the units of mass